I will now reveal the truth of the matter of Mr. Sakaki's murder. First, I will review what Dr. Harima and I both have gathered about our first victim, Rindo Sakaki, from the beginning to what we know now. Mr. Sakaki's cause of death was strangulation with a rope. The time of death was estimated to be at 11 p.m. on the night three days ago. His body was found hanging from the ceiling. It would initially appear to anyone who discovered his body that Mr. Sakaki committed suicide. Okay, just making sure that uh, they're, uh, unless the, because I've just kind of left it this on for a while. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't kill the sound. However, when I examined his body, I noticed that the bruising on Mr. Sakaki's neck was inconsistent with ones I have seen with suicides. Indeed, the only conclusion left was that Mr. Sakaki did not commit suicide, but was murdered. This was all confirmed later, on, later when we received his autopsy report. Additionally, the autopsy found that Mr. Sakaki had traces of sleep medication in his system. So the killer rendered him unconscious and then strangled him. Wouldn't strangling the victim and staging the crime scene take considerable upper body strength? I'm not so sure if a woman or child or a child would be capable of that. Shouldn't that narrow down our suspect pool? That is the reason why the killer used sleeping pills to begin with. Then it would be possible for anyone to strangle an adult male without assistance, especially a sickly male. Old old male old, sickly, injured, disabled. Now, as for staging the crime scene and hanging the victim's body, if you consider the possibility that the killer might have, ha might have had an accomplice working with him. An accomplice? Remember the will we found in Mr. Sakaki's room? Almost certain it was not written by the dissident. Uh, see? I knew it! That will was forged! That's not true! I know my husband's handwriting! Of course you'd think so, Mrs. Sakaki. After all, the, amen the amanuensis, yeah, has not, the amanuensis has not only been writing in your place in place of your husband for nearly three years, but they've also perfectly replicated his handwriting. An, um, an amanuensis? Well, what do you mean? Allow me to explain. Was your husband involved in a car accident with a drunk driver three years ago? Uh, yes, that is correct. The accident regrettably left Mr. Sakaki with radial nerve palsy, which is a condition that le leaves the afflicted unable to use their hands. I never knew. Since he was incapable of using his hands, there could be no question that Mr. Sakaki had used his amanuensis to become his substitute writer for the past three years. I see. So Dad was eating exclusively in his room due to the fact that he couldn't use his hands. It all makes sense now. Father would never allow any of us to see such disgrace. And who was the agent writing on Mr. Sakaki's behalf? The person who was Mr. Sakaki's amanuensis is... Ishihara, right? Yeah, sure, Ishihara. You were Mr. Sakaki's amanuensis. You are correct. I am the amanuensis who has been writing on Master Rindo's behalf for the last three years. But how did you know, sir? I knew from the very moment you told me yourself that you were responsible for Mr. Sakaki's meals during breakfast yesterday. Come to think of it, it was mentioned earlier that Mr. Sakaki always ate in his room. Were his meal portions this size as well? No, sir. I had to prepare a meal made specifically for Master Rindo. When Sasamoto and I would bring his meals, the master would tell me what he'd like done throughout the day as well as instruct me on tasks he'd like accomplished. After the master was finished with his meal, I'd return to his room to bring back the dishes and wash them. After the two of you delivered his meals, Miss Sasamoto would promptly leave his room. However, you remained behind with Mr. Sakaki. As we have heard from Mr. Tsubaki earlier, Oh yeah, yeah. What was I thinking? Mr. Sakaki would never allow anyone in his family to see him in a disgraceful state. Undoubtedly, this would apply to the domestic helpers as well. So Mr. Sakaki wouldn't have had his butler linger any longer than he had to. 
There must be a reason why you had to stay instead of leaving with Miss Sasamoto. There can be only one reason. Mr. Ishihara knew of Mr. Sakaki's condition and acted as his amanuensis. So Mr. Ishihara knew all about Mr. Sakaki's condition and gave his hands out of pure necessity. Does that sound about right, Mr. Ishihara? Yes, ma'am. Right after the car accident, the master ordered me to write on his behalf as his amanuensis, but he wasn't happy with just that alone. He wanted the whole world to not know. Therefore, he instructed me on how to replicate his penmanship so no one would be the wiser. And that brings us to how you drafted a holographic will in his name so flawlessly that no one would doubt its validity. Or, so flawlessly that no one would doubt its validity. Why did Mr. Ishihara choose Sakura to be the beneficiary? It was the same motive as when he killed your older brother, Mr. Tsubaki. Mr. Ishihara gave Sakura the inheritance in order to protect her. He was protecting me? Oh. In truth, the master had zero inclination to give anyone in the Sakaki family his inheritance. This also extended to his domestic helpers. His sole consideration was to pass on his inheritance to a worthy successor outside the family. It can't be. I urged the master many times over to reconsider his decision, but he wouldn't listen to me. Naturally, you feared what would have happened to Miss Sakura if she would if she were to not receive the inheritance. Miss Sakura has lived an extremely sheltered life as the esteemed daughter of a wealthy family. So you're worried about what would happen to her if she were to be kicked out of the house and forced to live a normal life at this point. It's plainly obvious what would happen. She would end up falling on rough times or be taken advantage by the very world she was protected from. Wow. So in order to ensure Miss Sakura would never have to go through such hardship, Mr. Ishihara made sure she will become the heir to the inheritance? Huh. You are correct, sir. Whoa. Oh. Okay. That took a turn. Uh, Shun. That's the entire reason why you murdered my father, Ishihara? Uh, no. That is where you are mis- That is where you are mistaken, Mr. Sakake. Mr. Sakaki's killer was not Mr. Ishihara. R what? You're wrong, Mr. Inaba. I killed Master Rindo. It was me. Uh, what? What's going on here? Who's telling the truth? No, Mr. Ishihara. It wasn't you. No, you're the one who was wrong here, sir. I'm admitting you to it. I am the one who killed Master Rindo. I have ample motive. Shun? Oh! My true identity is Shun Alba. I'm actually the son of the housekeeper who worked here 30 years ago. Uh, what? <laughs> Whoa! So the former housekeeper who had an affair with Mr. Sakaki and gave birth to twins? You're one of them? That's impossible! Mr. Ishihara is indeed the twin son of Miss, Miss K. Alba. Oh, the diary. Kyo's tips to housekeeping. It was written by your mother, wasn't it? Yes, sir. My mother's name is Kyo Alba. Oh. So that means the K in K, Alba, stands for Kyo. It was 24 years ago. My mother had sent a letter about Mr. Rindo's affair to the Sakaki family a few days before. I still remember that dreadful night like it was yesterday. The smell of smoke had woken me up. The house was on fire. No matter where I turned, I was met with a sea of flames. The days I grabbed my little sister's hand, and had managed to barely escape with my life from the flames. However, my mother was it was too late and had died to the fire. Oh! I later learned that it was Master Rindo who had set my house on fire. He wanted, he wanted to erase any evidence of his infidelity by killing us off. Master Rindo never had to worry about the law. He used his wealth and power to cover his involvement. So a distant relative of my mother gained custody of my sister and I. We were only five years old at the time. We had adopted their surname, Ishihara. Oh. My little sister went on to live a more simple life. She always insisted that the fire that day was nothing more, nothing but an accident. But not I. I swore to exact the revenge my mother had sought, and went on to become a butler within the Sakaki household. Nine years? 
I see now. I didn't know, Mr. Ishihara. Well, then, Mr. Ishihara, you and I are blood relatives. That would make you my half-brother. No way! That's right. Blood of the Sakaki family runs in me, too. At long last, I get revenge from my mother. This is a hell of a lot to be blurting out right after the uh, quite obviously trying to take responsibility for someone else. I'm sorry, Mr. Ishihara, but you didn't get any sort of revenge. I mean, not admitting to the very crime I committed. What more evidence do you need, sir? It, yeah, what's your problem? Don't you detectives prefer for the criminals to turn themselves in? Mr. Ishihara and Miss Sasamoto told me everything. You had an alibi for the time of Mr. Sakaki's murder. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Ishihara, sir. It just slipped out of my mouth, so I had to tell Mr. Inaba about our meeting on the 9th. I wonder if that's an ending branch. You see the tryst between Sasamoto and Tsubaki? You confront Sasamoto about it, and that reveals Ishihara's alibi. I wonder if we hadn't done either of those two things, if we would end up... Uh, going down an ending path where Shun is guilty of all of it. Th then who in the world actually did the deed? Who killed our father? person who killed Mr. Sakaki is. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a very bad feeling about this. Azusa Sakaki, you were the one who killed your father, Mr. Sakaki. What? <laughs> You're lying! Big brother? You killed father? <sighs> Hold on a moment, please. I can understand that Azusa would have enough strength to strangle his unconscious father to death with a rope. That much is certain. However, there's absolutely no way Azusa would have the strength to stage a hanging with the victim's body. That would be correct if Azusa was acting alone. But he had the help of an accomplice, an adult who was willing to hang Mr. E Mr. Sakaki's body. Is that right, Mr. Ishihara? You're wrong. I did everything on my own. Please leave young Master Azusa out of this. Hmm. Or maybe this is the bad path. And we could have selected Ishihara. I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see how this plays out. I had a feeling this was coming... It was coming to this. We already established that you had an alibi for the time of Mr. Sakaki's murder. There's no way that you can be the killer. Give it up, Mr. Ishihara. I refuse! Let's hear it, then. How did you kill Mr. Sakaki, despite having an alibi? Well, on that night, I took the sleep medication and mixed it into Mr. Sakaki's drink before he went to bed. When he was unconscious, I strangled him with the rope, then hung him from the ceiling to make it look like a, sui look like a suicide. Okay, and how did you get the sleep medication? It was something I personally bought a couple of days prior. Objection. Uh, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec, Mr. Ishihara. What you, said doesn't, what you said doesn't match with the evidence. When we were conducting our investigation, we discovered that pills used to Mr. Sakaki's murder were the same ones that Mr. Sas Miss Sasamoto owned. And then those sleeping pills belonged to Sasamoto? Correct. It's more than a little odd that you failed to mention that you used her sleeping pills if you really were the killer. But Sasamoto didn't want anyone to worry about her suffering from insomnia. Therefore, she didn't make it publicly known she was taking sleeping pills. However, there was one person who was aware about Miss Sasamoto's condition, and that was... me. Huh. Young Master Asasa. It's fine, Mr. Ishihara. Mr. Investigator already knows everything. Asasa? You really did it? You killed your father? Yes, I did, Mom. Well, wait a minute here! Ishihara, why are you protecting Azusa? I thought you only wanted to protect Sakura. Don't you get it, Akane? Mr. Ishihara is an extremely compassionate person. That's just the way he is. Huh? On that day, 
I slipped some of Miss Sasamoto's sleeping pills into Dad's meal. Then I went into his room while he was sleeping and strangled him with the rope I had prepared. I thought I must have spaced out or something. I don't remember how long I was in a stupor. Eventually, Mr. Ishihara came into Dad's room. Master Rindo, it's me, Ishihara. Excuse me, Master Rindo. I'm coming in. Uh, what? Uh, hey, Mr. Ishihara, you caught me. Young Master Azusa, what happened here? Uh, yeah, yeah, a lot happened. I guess you could say I killed my dad. Why would you do such a thing? I guess the reason really doesn't matter. Bounty says, what are you going to do about it, Mr. Ishihara? Are you going to turn me over to the police? That's not. Hey, Mr. Ishihara, I've been watching you lately. I know the real reason why you're here for nine years. Say, you like my sister Sakura, don't you? <laughs> I also know that my dad has no intention to hand his inheritance over to anyone. Think about it. Can my sister survive out there on her own? You have to admit that Sakura is the most sheltered out of all of us, wouldn't you, sh wouldn't you say? Wait, so you really just put all these ideas in his head? That's not. How about you forge a will in my dad's handwriting? It leaves everything to my sister. What do you say about that, Mr. Ishihara? Uh, huh? We know that Sakura is the only one who wouldn't use the inheritance for selfish means. Always think about what's best for her family. That's the... There we go. You know that, at least, Asasa. That was the reason from the very beginning why I suspected that, if it was legit, that Rindo might have chosen to leave it to Sakura. But it seems that Rindo was... had no intention of doing that at all. At least someone had sense. Not to mention it'd make you happy, too. Wouldn't it, Mr. Ishihara? Hmm. While we're at it, we can alter this scene to make it look like, Dad's, look like Dad committed suicide by hanging himself. Isn't that a much better reality? Okay, okay. Hmm. Young Master Hazusa, you're a crafty criminal. What, you won't do it? I'll do it. However, the day will come when it's found out that Master Rindu did not commit suicide. When that happens... Mr. Ishihara was merely following my orders with everything he did. Why would he go so far to help you? I hated the best with every fiber of my being. My life's existence was completely dedicated to carrying out revenge against him. However, upon meeting Miss Sakura and everyone else within the Sakaki family, I felt something change deep inside of me. Even though the thought of revenge gave me purpose, I went to that man's house and found everyone was kind and gentle found other reasons for living. If that was the case, then why did you kill my Natsume? Everyone in the Sakaki family holds a special place in my heart, but the person most dear to me more than anyone else is Miss Sakura. <gasps> I can never forgive you. Still, the most vexing thing is that I can understand your feelings. Much as I hate to admit it, it pains me. Asusa, tell me why? Why did you do it? Why did you murder your why did you murder your father? My beloved She was him in filth. What else do you do with garbage? Asusa, you did this because your father was abusing you, wasn't he? The entire reason you avoid anyone touching you or seeing you undressed is due to your fear that they might see your bruises and injuries, isn't it? The How? Aoi told us. Hey, brother. I see. So how I told you. Why? Why didn't you tell us this, Asusa? I made a deal with Dad. As long as I stay silent about his true nature, no one else has to put up with his pun abuse, his punishments. All I had to do was endure it. That way I was the only one who had to get hurt by him. <sighs> oh, Asusa. 
I'm sorry. just hurt that holy my wow Azusa why did you make that sound like it was a bad thing don't do it that violent side of his was only because he loves us so much but don't you forget <laughs> mother <laughs> mom it's time you wake up and accept the truth what dad was doing that wasn't love no, you are the one who needs to wake up. When he hits you, he's just showing you how much he cares for you. <laughs> what kind of love he has for his family. When it bubbles over, it can't be contained and it must be shown. So why would anyone want to take that away? <laughs> you call that love, Mom? You must be insane. I'm starting to get that impression. <laughs> ha! How dare you? <laughs> no, it can't be. And the bruises on Mother's body were... Yeah, that wasn't Dad's only punching bag. He was abusing Mom, too. The human trash. Ah. Azusa, why did you let things get this far? You should have told us. We're your family, you know. You didn't have to shoulder the burden on your own. Shut up, shut up, shut up! All of you shut up. Everyone was too busy to notice. No one cared that Aoi, too, was suffering at the hands of Dad. Uh, Aoi? What are you saying? That's a very good point. Everyone was too busy. Everyone was so focused on the business. Aoi, like me and Mom, also was abused by Dad. However, not one of you seemed to notice. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. In the end, everyone was only out to help themselves. And Mom was only already broken beyond repair. God, on one hand, that was a really fucking creepy wham line there. On the other hand, that's even more terrifying. What had to have been done to her for so fucking long to get her into that kind of rationalizing mentality? That's fucking terrifying. Holy shit. <laughs> no one came to our rescue. No one asked if we were okay. Bit by bit, I've reached the limit of what I could endure. How could I? How could I? It's all Dad's fault. It's all his fault. Our family will never be the same because of him. So that bastard had to die. Really natural for trash like him to be taken out. <gasps> Azusa, you're mistaken. You're not alone in all of this. We will always be here with you. So you shouldn't st say stuff like that. Why? Why would you say that, Sakura? I am not mistaken. I endured Dad's abuse for so long. When I took out that filth, I did this all for you. I killed that bastard for all of you. And yet... And yet... You dare speak like that to me? Sakura, watch out! Shun! 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 Hold! That's enough, Azusa. Let me go. Let me go. I'm not mistaken. I'm not. Calm yourself. Dr. Harima, please take care of Mr. Ishihara. Already on it. The Shun, you can't. You can't die. I, I, don't, I don't need any inheritance. As long as you're by my side, I'll be okay. That's all I can ask for, as long as you're with me. Miss Sakura. That's why you can't die on me. I need you, Shun. I did it for everyone, yet they... Oh, Big Brother Azusa! Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. It's all... It's all 
all my fault. I knew you were suffering. They couldn't save you like you had saved me. They couldn't save. No, it wasn't your fault, Howie. So please, you shouldn't apologize. Azusa. Oh no. Azusa, you really are a, a dummy. Azusa, I was I have no words. I was completely in the raw. I was far too preoccupied to see what was important. No, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. Because of me, Mr. Ishihara is. Shun! Don't worry. I'm going to be fine. Uh huh? Ah, uh, isn't this? Isn't that the necklace that I gave you? Yes, because of your necklace, I escaped death by just a hair. <laughs> Nevertheless, you're still wounded. I've done what I can. You should get some rest in your room. Uh, let's hurry. This way, sir. You can breathe easy. His life isn't at risk. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so happy, Shun. You saved my life once again. Huh? Don't worry about it. Thank you for everything, Miss Sakura. After that, Mr. Ishihara continued to be monitored by, monitored by Dr. Harima. His life had been spared. Azusa was then placed in isolation within his own room. The next day, both the police and the ambulance were able to arrive with the cessation of the snowstorm. Azusa was led away by Inspector Harima into police custody, and Mr. Ishihara was taken away to an ambulance. And thus the curtain to this tragic case finally fell. Well, it looks like it's time for us to leave. We're very grateful for all, you've, all of you've done, Detective. Please come by the Inaba Detective Bureau at any time. Our doors are always open. If I ever have any need of a detective, I'll do just that. We'd be happy to help you if you ever need our assistance. <laughs> it feels wonderful for all of us to finally be together like this. Finally, we can be a family. It's going to be a long road to recovery for us to rebuild our lives. But we'll make it through, because we have each other now. I want to make sure that Azusa and Shu will feel completely at home when they return. Mr. Inaba, please don't forget what you said earlier. We're going to build a snowman together, with Azusa. Don't worry, we will. It's a promise. Indeed, it's a promise, Aoi. Now, if you'll excuse us, we'll be leaving. See you then. Thank you, Mr. Great Investigator. God! That was really good! <laughs> Holy hell! Oh. I mean, a lot of the plot resolution there was really backloaded, but it really... <laughs> Honey, I'm home! It just came together with a for a real explosion of... I mean, that was really good! Don't really... oh. Oh. <laughs> the boys get drenched. That was really good! The sleepover. God, that... I mean... I can say it's good for a million times over and over again, but... I... The laundry scenario. The laundry scenario. Whoops. Ah, the pendant. Oh, that's a really cute Nina face. Gosh dang. That was really cool. Extortion letter check. Oh, that sounds concerning. And the finale. Sakura can hopefully take her place. Ah, oh, the snowman! Oh, yeah! Sakura can... God. 
Just with that ending. Oh, it's a young family photo. It's a young family photo. Oh. Oh god. I couldn't even get to any of that. Huh? Who's this? Hey, Mr. Ishihara. Hold out your hand. Oh, it's a young Sakura. Huh? You mean like this, Miss Sakura? Ta-da! This is a necklace. Not just any necklace. I crafted it myself. It also has a cherry blossom pendant on it. So it shares the same flower name as I. And I believe that today marks the first year anniversary of you working here, doesn't it? I think this is a congratulatory gift from me to you. But isn't this a woman's necklace? Uh, huh? Oh, oh no. I didn't realize it until now. How could I say how could I make such a silly mistake? I totally wasn't aware when I made this. I'm terribly sorry. Then, does this mean that you don't like it? Uh, no. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much. I'll treasure this necklace. Always. You mean it? Yes, I mean it. Hehe. <laughs> You're most welcome, Shun. Sh Shun? <laughs> oh, the flustered face. Whoops, that came out so naturally. I do like your name, but I should stop, right? Uh, no. It's fine by me. Sakura. Uh, Miss Sakura. You may call me whatever you like. Then I'll do just that, Shun. True end. Smiling for you. Oh, that's good. That's good. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Production skills. D <laughs> B. <laughs> what even decides that? Uh, unimpressed. What? Now, now. It happens to the best of us. What? Mr. Inaba will definitely get it next time. Just you watch. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> oh, damn. There's a lot to unpack there. It's... <laughs> I mean, the first game was really fun, and everyone seemed to enjoy it. And it was very much... a detective story, but... Kind of was a RPG Maker horror game first and foremost. There was a limited degree of detectiving, and it was definitely horror tropes, uh, dead spirits, uh, dead spirits spiriting away the culprit to the afterlife, and all that. Fun, relatively simple, but relatively simple, kind of extraterrestrial extraterrestrial puzzles and the like. I feel like the creators with the first game moving on to the second game they wanted to use those characters and kinda make a proper detective mystery and by god this is leaps and bounds so much better than the first game. The first game was good but this is Far and away, a huge improvement. It's. is to make a detective, believable mystery like this it takes a really impressive level of writing, character building, and just. putting all that into a game? really impressive mystery that you always felt like you were learning something new. You always felt like the story was advancing. But it wasn't really clear how everything fit together, even when some of it started to fit together. It wasn't really clear how it all fit together until the uh, final dedu deduction, which really just that one... that one fact 
that the crime scene was moved to uh, Mr. Narita's, Narita's room. Just that one fact that the crime scene was moved changed everything. And that was literally the fact that made the rest of the plot fall into place. Once that fell into place, then that put the kibosh on Mr. Ishihara's alibi, which then caused everything else to spiral out of control. I still feel like... I'll just... God... The, There was enough time and space given to all of the all of the characters in the family that they all felt really unique in their own right. They unfolded very distinct personalities and complicated personalities. And God, the motivations made sense. The one thing I might. One thing I might... I just say the two things I might point to as points of question. One... And I think they're both connected, so... The... Azusa killing his father, and... Ishihara coming in, going to help him cover it up. I feel like he was just sort of too mastermindy, or someone who just committed murder and uh, just someone who just committed murder was just discovered after being kind of in a haze for a while. That was quite a lot of ideas to just fucking dump out there. Yeah, he's the uh, murder mystery uh, novel reader in his free time, but it's. That still felt like quite a lot. Nah, I'd be curious to know what you, I could be curious to know what you guys think, but it's just the, the thought that was forming in my head that might have been a better outcome was Ishihara being, yeah, I hated Master Rindo too. Yeah, you, you, the family, are all, are all right. Azus is just like, please, please help me. Ishihara is just, hmm, okay, fine, we'll fake the suicide. And then, maybe afterwards or during that, and they're talking about why they might do such a thing. Then they both agree on that, the fact that Rindo was going to give it all away, so... Be an idea that just kind of comes out of it afterwards while they're faking the suicide, but I don't know. It just it's God, that was good. Ah, that was good. Now I'm sitting here thinking that God, I hope does Sakura get to keep the does Sakura get to remain the uh, sole beneficiary? The way everything came together with Sakura being the oblivious one, but the only one who wouldn't have selfish motives with the money. That's literally, that's what we were saying for day one, right? Everyone else was too focused on their own interests to really make the most of the family business. Sakura was the only one who wouldn't have, who didn't have a strong desire for the money, but wouldn't have any selfish intentions with the money. But even she didn't notice, because she was too busy helping with, helping with personal matters. God, there's a lot to unpack with the <laughs> ultimate plot of this. I think for now, we'll walk this back, try and get the other... try and get the... Uh, think there's a bad ending and a normal ending? So we'll try and walk this back, Get the other two endings. I have no idea how the deduction rank comes about. 
Maybe the maybe the deduction rank goes up if we get better endings. Or you know what? That's gotta the choosing the answer when I was uh, jumping around on the teacup issue. I wonder if that does it. That affects the deduction rank. So two things we need to do. We need to get the other endings. There's a bad ending and a true ending. And a, and a normal ending. And we need to get a good deduction rank. And then we'll finally move on from number two. God, that was good.